Hi, it's Nat Hoy from Red Fox Property Group and today I'm outside 39 Edward Street in Bedford. The top three things I love about this property. Number one is that it's fully and completely renovated, beautifully done. There is not a cent to spend or anything to do on this one. It is absolutely move in ready. Number two is the floor plan. It is fabulous. Three bedrooms under the main roof plus study and activity space. So lots of flexibility as to how you can use it and set it up. And number three is this beautiful front garden that you can see behind me with this lovely picket fence, gorgeous spot for your bubbers, human or fur, fur to frolic and play. Let's go and have a look around the home. Before we tour the home, I'll just give you a quick look at this glorious front garden beautiful white standard roses here that you can see not one but two fantastic mature frangipanis no bedford home is complete without a frangipani and you've got this beautiful beautiful wide veranda which is going to provide a stunning space to sit out on summer evenings and watch the neighbors and world go by let's have a look inside as you can see, you've got all the mid-century features you'd expect from a home of this era. We've got linen closet there. I'm going to start with the bedrooms over this way first, and then we're going to make our way sort of through the home in a bit of a circuit. So main bedroom, you can see we've got, I think that might be a queen size bed, don't quote me on it, bedsides, heaps of space either side, those beautiful plantation shutters, and a very large built-in robe that is floor to ceiling. So great sized main bedroom there. We've got two further bedrooms. As I said before, we've got three bedrooms all under the main roof and they are all well proportioned. So great size bedroom here, double bed, bed sides, as you can see, study desk, and that's a freestanding robe. Um, the plantation shutters, the sellers might be open to that staying if that is something that you'd be keen on. Bed three, another really well proportioned room. This one is longer. You will fit a double bed there, but we've set it up with a single bed sides. But as you can see, there's still plenty of space. Really lovely big window, so really lovely light through here. And as you can see, we've got a robe in here as well. So still a really well proportioned room. Bathroom, beautifully renovated. So really love this space. We've got a bath, we've got shower with the semi-frameless shower screen, and we've got loo and vanity. And there is a second loo out the back in the laundry as well. So gorgeous bathroom there. We come through to the kitchen. So again, this has all been done. So you can see pantry here, nice wide fridge recess. This one fits French door fridges. We've got lots of fabulous bench space, under bench lighting, overhead cupboards. There's gorgeous pendant lights that hang down. Beautiful white oven that blends in so beautifully with the cabinetry. And I'll swing around. And actually that one's the microwave, sorry. And this one is the oven over here cooktop and more overhead cupboards and beautiful natural light in this space. It is open to the dining area, which is really well proportioned. So we've got a very large six seater there, comfortably fit an extra couple of chairs and get an eight seater in if you want. So again, the plantation shutters, the sense of light in here is just beautiful. And then we come around to the living area. So gorgeous space, really love this. The lounge is just beautiful. So that higher ceiling, beautiful ornate rows there, those traditional cornices. I'm gonna come back to the entry over here and give you another look. The fireplace is ornate. Um, if you wanted to um, restore that, you certainly could, um, but at this stage, it's just ornate and you can just get a beautiful sense of the space here. And then we'll pop up and have a look at the back rooms. Before I head into what was the old sleep out, here's just another view of the kitchen. So you can appreciate how large that is, how generous the cupboard space and the bench space is in that area. It is just fantastic. But then look at this, this is the bonus space. So normally where you'd find the third bedroom, here we've got a fantastic 
I guess, activity space. You can set this up however you like, but it is, as you can see, the proportions are fantastic. It's really long, beautiful light, like loads of, loads of options in terms of what you do with that area. And then we've got a gorgeous little study out here as well. So I really, really like how all this has been done and all of the options that you've got with it. Laundry, love it, hiding behind the barn door here at the back. Really good proportions, second loo through there, but look at all of this space here. I think this is the opportunity to make it a three by two further down the track, but it is super neat and tidy um, and just a great area as is. And that is just another view of this back activity area down to the study as well. And we'll head outside. Where to start? So in addition to all that great space out the front, you've got all of this gorgeous space out here at the back. So the idea is that it's all super low maintenance. We've got a little herb garden area there. I love how they've hung the mirror to reflect that back. You've got lots of space down the side there. But this fabulous awning makes this a really practical area as well. So you do have protection from the sun, but of course, plenty of room if you wanted to put a more permanent structure up as well. But I do love the flexibility that an awning affords. And you've got all of this room around the side. So it makes it really super easy for bins. You've got plenty of space for little garden buddies and extra storage here too. So nice access out there to the front and the driveway as well. But yeah, all this fabulous space out the back for you to enjoy too. Location. Those of you familiar with Bedford will know that Edward Street is a really popular spot. You're just 450 metres from Beaufort Street and popular Chisholm College. And of course, the 950 bus runs every few minutes down Beaufort Street during peak hour to the city, which is about 6.2 k's away. The Inglewood Social Precinct is within about one and a half k's. Morley Galleria, about 1.8 k's. And you've got the Bedford IGA and our table within an easy one kilometer scoot or stroll as well. What is not to love? Call me now 0405 812 273 for more details or we'll see you at a home open. Have a great day. Music